If you are under the age of 18, the content of this video is not intended for you. Please stop watching now. Hey YouTube, it's Audrey and I'm here today to share projects for a one day collaboration that is hosted by Lady Cree here on YouTube. July is her birthday month and she wanted to do a little something something for her birthday celebration. So we are doing summer this and summer that. And there are four of us um, who are participating, Lady Cree and me and also Vanessa who is crafting with a smile and Shatavia who is Cuddle Me Clay Tay. I'll have all of their links to their channels below so make sure you check them out and see the wonderful creations that they are doing. I am going to start this video off with just showing you this paper pad that is in front of you. Actually it's a paper pack. There is a paper pad also that is the same paper that I do have somewhere <laughs> in a box still but I was going through some of the paper um, storage that I had and I came across this one and I thought you know what I'm going to use this because it's not the traditional bright bright summer colors that you usually see in summer papers but it definitely is a summer paper this um was the paper pad actually was a Michael's hot buy and then they had these packs that they sold also at Michael's and, and looking at this date, 2014. So I'm going backwards a little bit with this paper pad, which I'm trying to reach back and use things that I have, but I'm sure I'll have some other stuff coming up. So let's see what all I could do with this pad. So sit back, get ready for a nice ride. All right, everybody, I'm back and I have a few projects that I have completed. I wanted to show you that out of the paper, I have one 12 by 12 sheet left and there were 12 12 by 12 sheets in here. And then I have, I think it's seven pieces that are four by 12 that I'll probably make some cards with slim lines or four by fours or three by threes. And then I have one that's eight by 12. And then a couple other little scrappy pieces, but yep, I pretty much killed it. And I will kill the rest of this so that I will have totally used it all. Then I use this Paper Studio Bling that I got on clearance at Hobby Lobby and I use several of the rows of gold <clears throat> excuse me I used a couple pieces of this bling from Dollar Tree I used several dies out of this pack this is an old set that I got from Peachy Cheap it was before they started labeling everything Coco and Reno but I've had this one several years now so I used a few pieces out of that and then this is the Coco and Reno which comes in this cute little bag subscription for I think this was the month before last and it's called Sunny Days and it has some word dies in here that I used <clears throat> this is a diamond press slimline die and I used this piece right here and two of the words. And this is a auto ship. They started off with just one um, initial package and then every two months for a year we get another set. So I think this was the first auto ship one. The second one just came actually yesterday. Then this one is another diamond press slim line. This one makes a shadow box and I could have easily used this for summer because it's tropical. And this one is another auto ship too. 
but there are stamps in this set and I used a stamp out of here. So those are the other products that I used along with a couple pieces of outside cardstock. So first of all, I have this card that I made with that Diamond Press Sunray die. And then I used Sunshine and Miles out of, that was also from that die set. And this is where I used all of the bling. I did use it in another place too, but this is where I use most of the bling. So that is this card. And on the inside, I used another of the dies and then I used that stamp from the shadow box set that I said I used the stamp for from and it says have a sunshiny day so the back just has my um stamp in an orange color and I also use that orange uh it's quick dry ink from spectrum no R to stamp on the inside so that is the card. So that's the first thing that I made. Second thing that I made is a little folder. And this little folder opens up, but it says Sunny Summer Days. And that was from that, that was from the current or the recent Coco and Reno set. So Sunny Summer Days is what it says. I added some more bling around because it just was a little too plain for me with just those three words. So I added bling to emulate the bling on the card. You open it up and it holds two tea bags or four tea bags, two tea bags on each side. And I made pockets that are um, have a depth to them. So after I show you the next project, if you want to stick around, I will tell you how I made the pockets to go in here. So, um, and then the back, I just have this Keep This Audrey Petite Long made it just for you. So, that is the second project. And then the third project is something that I saw Rosa Kelly do the other day and I wanted to do it. She did it in one of Lady Korea and I's and I believe also Vanessa Crafting with the Smile. I believe all of us love the paper pad that she did it in which was the fa Fashionista paper. So I took the ideal and the concept and I added a few more pages to mine but it is a mini album. And I used the older um, Peachy Cheat set to make this Polaroid and the word smile. And then the sunshine came from the cut aparts in the paper pad. And then I, the sun also came from the same set with this Polaroid and the smile. And I just added a little dimension to the sun not sure if you could see that but it cuts the center out and then I put the center up on foam this is the side it is just the scored side but chipboard covers wrap and this is where I had to use another piece of cardstock which I also use the orange cardstock here on this card and on the inside I had not planned to it. This was not going to be the front cover. This was originally going to be the back cover. I had a piece that had smile and some graphics on it. But instead of gluing it, I was trying to tape it with double-sided tape and then add some glue. And that didn't work. You could see right through it. It was bumpy. So I just glued the paper totally on, which is what Rosa had said in her um, video on how she did hers and I'll have the link to that particular tutorial below so this is the book and then it opens up like this <clears throat> and then this page I left blank I'll probably put some type of 
cut aparts. I do have some cut aparts here left that I have not used yet. So I will probably use those depending on the pictures. I need to get the pictures because this whole set is going to, I have an aunt um, who does not do Facebook, Instagram, any of that kind of stuff. So all the other people in my family do and they get to see pictures and she never gets to see pictures of of her family members so i am going to print out pictures i have ordered them i just haven't gone to pick them up yet but i will have pictures in here for her and then some of that tea that i'm sharing that i got actually from ginger who's ginger panna here on youtube so the unique thing about this album is that it has pop-up pages and you can see here as you open it as I go back you have a pop-up and this one says love ya and I didn't do one on the first page because I'm gonna have probably a note about to my aunt here and maybe an initial picture so then I will work pictures around the pop-ups but the pop-ups I put in different places and then on the second page I have another pop-up which says be happy you can see that and then those are the only two that I have put something on because I have added pop-up places for these other ones and see you can see there's the pop-ups but I'm probably going to add pictures on there instead of the cut aparts. So each one of the rest of the pages have the pop-ups. And I went left, cent left, right, center. And then the last page, I just left plain again. Um, I might put some paraphernalia or other some other so, uh, phrase or something here and a final picture. So I thought the album was really cute. It went together really easy. It's actually part of Rosa's series, One Hour Crafting, although I'm a slow crafter, so it took me a lot longer than an hour. But anyway, these are my three projects for summer this and summer that in celebration of Cree's upcoming birthday. Cree, I appreciate you inviting me to do this. It got me to do something that I probably should have done a while ago. So for those of you who um, want to see the tutorial, I will um, give you a little, not really a tutorial, but explain how I made the pockets. But before those of you who don't want to watch it go, just want to say, always watch everybody's videos, leave comments. You never know what's going to happen or who's going to do what. Um, I love to see my comments. And since this is all about summer, tell me what your favorite thing is about summer and leave that in your comment. And I look forward to hearing from you. So I'm going to move this over right quick and then just show you simply how to do this now what you need to do is you need to determine how wide you want your pocket how tall you want your pocket and how deep how thick you want your pocket so in this example I want a four inch pocket that's four inches wide that's two and a half inches deep or tall and that's a half an inch deep. So what you need to do is you determine your pocket width, which is four inches. You determine your pocket height, which is two and a half inches. So if you want your depth to be one half inch, you have to add a half an inch to each side, but then you need another half an inch to fold it over to make the side. So you need to add, um, double what you want your depth to be. So I want my depth to be half an inch. I add another half an inch. 
on three sides. So I did it here, I did it here, I did it here. So I scored. Um, so the total of this is six inches, half an inch score, half an inch score, then half an inch, half an inch on this side. And then the depth is the two and a half plus the two halves. So two and a half, three, three and a half is the total depth. So this whole thing is three and a half by, um, I mean, it's three and a half this way by six. So you don't really need these pieces here. So basically you would go ahead and cut those pieces out. doing this kind of quickly so I'm not totally accurate here this is just to show you what to do so then you're gonna fold your score lines fold the second score line so now what you have is your pocket depth so then I just usually glue here the two bottoms to these sides, squaring them off. And then once you glue it, you have your pocket and you just glue your pocket onto your surface. So that's exactly what this is. This is the pocket and I just glued it in there. And that's how you make it. So... If you need to rewind it, I know I kind of went a little fast, but I'm sure a lot of you know might know how to make it already, but there might be those of you who don't and would find that interesting. So that was just a little tidbit. But anyway, I again thank Cree for hosting this and inviting me to be a part of this challenge. Everybody have a great and fabulous Sunday and a great and blessed week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.